ई गवर्नेंस इज ए ब्रॉडर कंसेप्ट ई गवर्नेंस इज ए ब्रॉड कंसेप्ट विद इन दैट वॉट एवर यू हैव सी बेसिकली वॉट इन द एंड वी वॉन्ट टू से जस्ट फॉर योर नॉलेज और अंडरस्टैंडिंग सोसाइटी हैज गॉन टू दिस लेवल कि फर्स्ट वी हैड ट्रेडिशनल अकाउंटेबिलिटी and then we had tools techniques process for traditional accountability all these things and it may be effective as we told that it was effective it was a complete failure but still we wanted to bring this well this to include people in the process of accountability and then we thought that once people will come in the process of accountability so then it will improve traditional accountability it will address the problems that is how lots of emphasis have been given on this now things have gone beyond that also no? like if you had this over almost let's say that ki 30 40 years of experience to 40 years ke baad hum ye baat karne lage hamare desh mein agar hum baat karte hain to right 40 years of independence we had largely emphasis on हम कोशिश यहाँ पे करते थे कि लोकपाल बनाओ सीबीसी बनाओ तो हाउ टू इम्प्रूव अकाउंटेबिलिटी तो रादर वी फोकस दैट टाइम मोर ऑन ट्रेडिशनल साइड नाउ दैट हैज गॉन देन ग्रेजुअली लेट से ऑलमोस्ट थर्टी इयर्स ऑफ दिस आल्सो इट ऑलमोस्ट थर्टी इयर्स ऑफ दिस आल्सो दिस यू कैन से नॉट एटलीस्ट इन इंडिया बट इन अदर कंट्रीज वेन दी स्टार्ट इट टॉकिंग नाउ दे आर ऑल्सो प्रोस एंड कॉन्स यू नो The, the people have participated social audit rti etc sector what do you know that then it gave rise to a concept called social accountability but you know that its main problem is ki corruption is exposed but action is not taken basically this is a world bank finding it is a world bank report in 2018 focus on governance the world bank has given this concept of actionable accountability this the world bank conducted a study in 2018 and across the world not only in india across the world related to initiatives on rti citizen charter social audit and finding that what exactly has happened then it is started talking that we need to go for actionable accountability means suppose we have the findings of this let's say e governance is there someone through e governance and access government has basically this a portal aur koi portal pe complain karta hai ki corruption hai to action hona chahiye you should know that district magistrate this a portal is at the district magistrate level district magistrate is the prabhari means the head of this a portal at district level and 43 schemes are covered all the schemes implemented at district level they are let's say implemented through disha portal and are and disha portal a citizen can complain about any such scheme and the district magistrate has to take action within one month the time frame is also mentioned you are trying to make it actionable but suppose district magistrate does not take action how you guarantee so and there is corruption this So when there is corruption, let's say that. So that is how it is said. If corruption is exposed, there should be necessarily action. So us action ke liye ab fir se ye concept hai ki actionable accountability needs them because ultimately they will take action. Ultimately, government will take action. Right. So somehow you have to link action action with traditional aspect. and somehow you have to link social accountability with traditional accountability this like as we told that ki at district local level there should be a local lokpal combining two three district that can be one basis this you can say and that is how let's it is talk that means government should ensure that ki there is action once a corruption or any irregularity or misconduct has been reported otherwise they suffer from their effectiveness and that is how concept of actionable accountability so just few lines let's write on this <clears throat> due to changes 
due to changes related to RTI, Citizen Charter, Citizen Charter, Social Audit, and e governance. E governance. There is emergence of a new type of accountability, a new type of accountability known as social accountability. Social accountability. which includes responsiveness and responsibility which includes responsiveness and responsibility however however it has been found that it has been found that there is lack of action there is lack of action on the findings of findings of RTI RTI social audit etc that even if there are exposures of corruption even if there are exposures of corruption but actions are lacking actions are lacking hence and there is suggestion that there is suggestion that the tools of social accountability the tools of social accountability should be linked with linked with the tools of traditional accountability tools of traditional accountability so that so that government takes action government takes action action and hence actionable accountability hence actionable accountability so that is what in brief let's So just a side topic. In brief, I'll tell this.
So you know about social media, you know all the, the basics, we don't have to talk. Somehow we cannot avoid a question today or tomorrow on social media. It is such an important development that the PSC will ask today or tomorrow a question related to this. <clears throat> so you should know that angle, although essay they have asked, not in the context of accountability. Social media can be asked in the context of democracy also, in the context of governance also, in the context of next paper three is security also. This. So it's very difficult to where to teach it, how, let's say, clubbing it. Just to tell in brief what from accountability perspective. So government also has social media. There is also people's led. When social media term is used, its obvious connotation is more about people's lead rather than government. This you should understand. But what we find at times when we ask question, the people write only government, they do not write social media person. This I have found. But social media is more about, it's the private one, it's the, it's the people let's say led social media rather than like government led Twitter, Facebook etc. Although it is also part of that. The government social media is also part of that. This you have to understand. Now what we are saying, some of the things we have written related to what it happens. When you have social media, what has happened? Every person has become a media. Agar aap social media ka benefits count karna shuru karoge, to it is again not a class you should deal yourself. Imagine that it has given voice to those who did who in past did not have voice. Koi bhi social media se bol sakta hai. Yes. Koi bhi social media pe apna YouTube channel chala sakta hai. Uska ek negative culture hai, ek positive culture hai. Any person has got, every person has got an opportunity to represent herself through that. And if the person is accessible, open to entire world. This, so be it a doctor, be it an engineer, a handicraft person, a farmer, you can say, or a woman in the village, both are a woman in the village, rural India, they, they have their, let's say their YouTube channel in, on which they show their cooking skill. And they have millions of followers, millions views. This, this you should know that. Millions views they have, a rural women, aged women, I find one woman from Kerala, very aged women and she let's say that she has YouTube and she cooks let's say that whatever uh, the traditional and it, there are millions of people let's say that millions views of the video. So you can imagine ki how things can liberate, it is liberating people a kind of. That the social media is also a tool of liberation, tool of empowerment, tool to access including empowerment. So you can talk yourself those positive things if you take. Then in the society, you had the caste, religion, community, you cannot talk, you cannot be open, there is lack of equality in talk, all sort of things. But on social media, there is caste, religion, etc., all these things. But the social media is also a neutralizing effect it has. This you can say. So it, 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 it does not matter to what caste and religion you belong to. This. So that we can consider, so that way also we can treat. So, but we are talking in the context of government. The government sector, why are we are using this silo, let's say that. I will explain you that. It's a culture. There are some symbolic references to government. That, let's say, my bap culture, ruling class mindset, elite oriented, this kind of thing. Or let's say, silo cultures, red tapism. There are some symbolic references which we give to the government. One is also this, let's this call. Generally, it happens, it's a culture of alienation basically. So, it's a culture of alienation. This called government, or it is called bureaucracy administration, and it is called people. There is alienation. <coughs> this. Government insulated what is Silo is a kind of insulation. The government remains insulated from outside what is happening. Okay. Like you can see wrestlers are protesting. 
बस एंड पुलिस खुद मतलब पुलिस का भी विजडम नहीं करे एफ आई आर तो फाइल कर लो यार और एफ आई आर फाइल कर लिया है तो उसका टेक्निकलिटी होता है कि कोर्ट में तो जाओ अब कोर्ट बोलेगा कि चलो कोर्ट में आओ तो पुलिस वाला कोर्ट में जाएंगे जो भी पैनलिस्ट आप देखोगे जितने पैनलिस्ट आप देखोगे जो अगर वो आईपीएस रहा है या सिविल सर्वेंट रहा है सबका एक ही जैसा व्यू है ऑलमोस्ट कि पुलिस को एक्ट करना चाहिए लेकिन जो अभी सर्विस में है वो कुछ बोल ही नहीं रहा है तो पुलिस कमिश्नर का कोई आवाज ही नहीं है राइट पुलिस कमिश्नर डज नॉट एड्रेस उधर दिशा रवि के केस में पुलिस कमिश्नर एड्रेस इज मीडिया एक छोटी सी लड़की को अरेस्ट कर लिया उसके लिए बोल रहे हैं मीडिया में यू नो इट बेटर और उधर जो अरेस्ट हुआ था ड्रग केस में तो तो डेली डेली वो दो दो बार तीन तीन बार इंटरव्यू दे रहा था ऐसा लग रहा था बट <laughs> पुलिस का कोई प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस नहीं है देर इज अ डम साइलेंस इट सिम्स की देर इज नो प्रेजेंस दिस दैट इज साइल इंसुलेटेड दिस कल्चर केम फ्रॉम ब्रिटिश टाइम ब्रिटिश टाइम इज पीपल स्ट्रगल इवन देर वॉज ड्राउट हंगर डेट्स स्टारवेशन बट ब्रिटिशर्स और ब्रिटिश एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इट फॉलोड इट्स डेली रूटीन एंड एंजॉयड एंड इवन डिड पार्टीज इसका ये सिंबोलिक रेफरेंस है इवन दे है पार्टीज ऑन द अदर साइड आउट साइड सोसाइटी पीपल आर डाइंग आउट ऑफ स्टारवेशन दिस and that is bureaucracy it's normal routine elite culture club culture these things are important and irrespective of what is the condition of society <laughs> that is how we say silo mentality silo culture now social media is breaking this culture this in order listening people abhi abhi jo chal raha hai aap kaise pressure banega गवर्नमेंट के ऊपर प्रेशर बन रहा है अब गवर्नमेंट के ऊपर प्रेशर बनेगा तो देन गवर्नमेंट विल एक्ट तो ये तो मान लो मान लो इस पॉलिटिकली मोटिवेटेड एक टॉपिक है बट बहुत सारे डे टू डे लाइफ में ऐसा मिलेगा जहां पे लोगों ने कंप्लेन किया है सोशल मीडिया के थ्रू गवर्नमेंट ने एक्शन लिया है सो बेसिकली इट इज ब्रेकिंग द पैसिव कल्चर इन एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन पैसिव कल्चर इन एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन रेड टेपिजम इन एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड रिएक्टिव कल्चर इन एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इट इज मेकिंग एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन मोर प्रो एक्टिव एंड मेनी ए टाइम सोशल मीडिया सोज गवर्नमेंट हाउ टू एक्ट दिस दे शो द गवर्नमेंट हाउ टू एक्ट एंड देन दे एक्ट दैट वे वी कैन कंसिडर दोशल मीडिया हैज पॉजिटिव एस्पेक्ट दिस the negative side the cons side is also right on this the cons of social media too much too much of reactionary approach too much of reactionary approach reactionary approach due to due to rhetorical reactions by people rhetorical reactions by people by people next vested interest manipulations vested interest manipulations rumors rumors and misinformation rumors and misinformation misinformation right it is still concentrated it is still concentrated in certain parts certain parts of the society certain past of parts of the society right. parts of the society next 
it makes administration more it makes administration more short term oriented short term oriented rather than focusing on focusing on serious challenges of society serious challenges of society society next administration also giving in to social media trends administration also giving in to social media demands demands including perceptions perceptions next threats to order and stability threats to order and stability and security of the country security of the country due to selfishness of selfishness of social media companies companies like cambridge analytica cambridge analytica pegasus pegasus so that is how we can consider like this some negative points <laughs> basically what we say what new thing you can say yes other points you may be aware but one point that we want to tell is what has happened is that then, then there are vested interest and vested interests are from both sides government is also one such let's say party which is a problem created created you should know that this and uh, overnight things happen let's say the where government interest is it is a let's say trolling concept or culture of trolling the trolling culture aaya kahan se this cambridge analytica you know that the names of government have been alleged in that in pegasus issue also you know that ki how it is because that software is sold to only government this so governments let's say themselves to this plus what exactly i am trying to say is administration where it is serving its vested interest administration given to that demands jaise ki filing of firs in different parts of the states this social media pe koi demand ho gaya this people demanded right related to jaise aajkal ho gaya wo movie mein wo kya culture tha wo right backward culture right backward culture and if i are is filed kyu bhaiya aapka emotion hurt ho gaya are emotion hurt ho gaya to hurt ho gaya right uske liye fir kyu file karoge this that you should know that and police will file a fir this already we have dealt in hate speech and other such sector etc you know that so basically you say that it will create law and order problem Right. Rather, you should tell that you know you should not file a fire. But this is how administration. Or administration के क्या ज़्यादा है? Long term focus हो रहा है कि नहीं? Serious matter पे वो focus कर रहे हैं कि नहीं? उससे क्या फर्क पड़ता है उनको? Right. उन्होंने fire file कर लिया. Then they are let's say that they busy with the attack. So that will somehow let's say result into not focusing on the serious matters. And this you are giving into them. जो सारे मैटर्स में आप सिर पर उसको डांट के भगा दोगे उसको आप परसू कर रहे हो और जो सारे सीरियस मैटर्स है उसमें आप परसू ही नहीं कर रहे बस दैट इज हाउ इट इज हैपनिंग नॉन सीरियस मैटर्स यू परस्यू सीरियस मैटर्स देखना मणिपुर में कोई इंक्वायरी नहीं होगा बस मणिपुर में कोई इंक्वायरी नहीं होगा हमने डेमोक्रेसी में आपको बताया था वो विराट कोहली वाला स्टोरी ठीक है वो फिर से चल रहा है ऐसा ही और मौर्य एंड कौटिल्या बिजी इन कर्नाटक एंड एट नेशनल लेवल वॉट एवर द थिंग्स आर हैपनिंग दे विल नॉट स्पीक दिस एज लॉन्ग एज कर्नाटका इलेक्शन इज 
going on. That's it's a state election. Why a prime minister is sorry to say that? Why a prime minister is supposed to be so much in in that state election? And you can see the presence of prime minister over there. This it's like camping in Karnataka, the way they camped in West Bengal. Yes, politics is there, this is one thing, but you have to have concern for national aspect and things at national level go out of your hand. This, they go out of your hand. This is wrestler. I sorry to say, I don't have any vested interest in this information. I don't have any assessment. When you kill them, they are Punjab and Haryana. Right. <laughs> when you kill them, they retaliate. They are also the border and they are also the same. 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 They are also poor. Nahi hai. They are good people. Right. <laughs> UPBR are also the same. They are also so basically you are creating a scenario of another outburst let's say that but that's not the point point is that ki i say it is my mera apna analysis hai ki let's analyze ki desh ko kitna loss hota hai sirf protest se strikes se protest se aur is tarah ke jo out of nothing violence ho jata hai jo ki aaj ke date mein ye sab nahi hona chahiye आपके पास इंटेलिजेंस है सिक्योरिटी है आपके पास बहुत सारे लेट्स है कि मेजर्स है यू शुड नॉट मिस इट शुड नॉट हैपन दैट इज हाउ लेट्स द कॉन साइड ऑफ द सोशल मीडिया दिस एंड दिस वी हैव एडेड वन आई वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट सेल्फिश क्यों पूछा उन्होंने सोशल मीडिया वाला स्टोरी तो ऑलरेडी यू नो कि हाउ दे ब्रिंग चेंज इन देयर एल्गोरिथम दिस Anyhow, competition is one thing which is good and uh, basically when first generation of social media was there, they started in their first generation, Google, Facebook, first generation, Twitter also it is first, now second generation it has started, this, you have to pay for this, this, but its competitor has, let's say already come in the market, by led by this uh, Twitter founder who left. He has started another social media platform. So the question first generation, everything was free. Facebook, you had account on Facebook, you felt honored. No, this the Facebook account, you can say that. <laughs> so you felt very honored like this. Yes. The first generation. Second generation unhone kya shuru kiya? Ki aapka sara data unhone use karna shuru kiya that and they it comes that na, allow your allow to access your phone right our pure complete wo data bhi account lena chahta tha photo bhi video bhi sab kuch this so that let's say that ki second generation the second generation then you uh, let's say come to know that ki this was their motive in first generation, they spread their influence, and second generation, they want to earn from you. This, and that is how the selfishness that in return of simple your account, you get access. And Facebook was asked in the Congress that who wants data on Facebook? He gave a very intelligent reply everyone wants. Who wants? data on Facebook. So, Mark Zuckerberg says that everyone who has the account on Facebook, he wants his data. This, that was his reply. <coughs> Anyhow, so this is a situation, let's say, that's why uh, the challenge, let's say, inherently, uh, that is how the challenge in terms of accountability. However, Government itself used it since we are talking government contacts. So still it has, let's say, it will can, we can say that it has a more positive influence on government, especially improving accountability. 
because now government is quite under pressure government has also its facebook so twitter social media platform through which it interacts with people like a district magistrate can have government facebook and through which so there is a very quick reaction that is out a bit summary we can write so let's write all this however social media is like a liberating force social media is like a liberating force for people people and it empowers it empowers them like rti like rti against government and administration against government and administration <laughs> since it has given rise to hundreds of it has given rise to hundreds of platforms platforms for discussion deliberations discussion deliberations such developments such developments make social media make social media a sort of parliament on parliament and profoundly influence decisions of the government profoundly influence decisions of the government government like net neutrality decision net neutrality decision review of draft of policy review of draft of policy through my government portal my government portal so that is all